making a big impact on your morning commute. Part of a busy interstate shutdown after a horrific crash. One person killed on 45 near University City Boulevard. So take a look at this video. You can see that there's barely anything left to the car on the left-hand side of that box right there. Let's get straight out to NBC Charlotte's Ariel Placencia, who's live on the scene. So Ariel, a lot of people waking up right now this morning trying to figure out, is the inner loop of 45 still shut down? Rachel, it is. It is still closed at this hour. We know that two vehicles were involved in this fatal crash, and crews just put one of them up on that tow truck you see over there. We're going to zoom in to give you a better look, and this is really hard to look at when you think that one person was inside that white minivan. It doesn't even look like a white minivan anymore. Significant damage to that front end of the, the car. The roof completely caved in, and you can see there's a lot of debris as well in that area. Crews are still laying down some sand and trying to sweep up all of that shattered glass. Now, this all happened around 2.50 this morning. Highway Patrol tells us that, again, two cars were involved. And at this hour, the inner loop of 485 right there at University City Boulevard still shut down at this hour. Crews say that they hope to have it open within the next 30 to 40 minutes. We'll, of course, keep you posted on that if that actually happens. But for now, let's head over to Rachel Roller. She joins us now from our traffic center with more on how this is going to affect your commute. Hey, Rachel. Ariel, thank you. Yes, officials have been telling us they expect to reopen it at 6.30. You can see here the purple line showing the closure of 485 of the inner loop closed right there between exit 33 and exit 36. So it's quite a stretch. You can see that the roads surrounding there are starting to look okay, like Rocky River Road and Robinson Church Road around that section of 485. Earlier this morning, we were seeing some red lines starting to extend as people tried to navigate around the closure. Again, this is not the only issue, though. I want to show you the video of what else we were talking about at the top of the show.